Many of you probably noticed over the last like six months who have watched my channel for a very long time uh, since I started doing the, the, this channel that I haven't really been myself. I've kind of been up and down, up and down, up and down. And one of the reasons for that was there was a separation between uh, somebody who had been in my life for a very long time uh, who I had dated and this new person who had come into my life um, who I had met uh, on Instagram of all places. And there was this immediate attraction, immediate getting along with this person as just immediate, like there was just this, this, um, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. I, I've, 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 I've had it with the, the ex, but not to the level that I've ever had it before. So I didn't really know what to do with it, honestly. And it was kind of having me all over the place. Like when we would talk for a consistent amount of time, uh, I would be in a great mood. And then when she was, you know, when we weren't talking because she wasn't, she's in school, I wouldn't be like in this mood. And I, I couldn't figure out why this was happening at all. It was, it was driving me nuts. I, I've never actually had this up and down before of talking to somebody. And, we, you know, we had our, our differences and stuff like that, uh, this this other person and I, and it, it just, it was, to me, it felt kind of odd, like maybe something wasn't right, but I, I, was, I was going with it because I had really never had these type of feelings for somebody before, and I really hope nobody that I've ever dated watches this. Because I've never actually gone through any of this in my life. I've never had a connection like this with somebody. Now, I've had really good connections. Don't get me wrong. Like, I've had friends and, and, and connections like this. And I've had some people that I've, I've really wanted in my life and, and all that. I, I, so, don't, you know, don't get me wrong here. I've, I've had connections. But there was something different about her. And, but it was, at the same time, changing my emotions every time we would talk and, and, and not talk. And I, I couldn't figure out, out out why. And I would start seeing these numbers, uh, which I never really paid attention to before. You know, at first I was calling them angel numbers, but then I, I really started kind of getting away from that angel number, the twin flame thing, the whatever else it is. And I started really, really getting into more reading the Bible and going to church and, and uh, asking God what, what God was saying and, 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 you know, the Holy Spirit and stuff like that and really getting more involved with that. So I have this person to thank for that at least. And I, I've, I still am reeling from this because we did break up, you know, permanently it seems. And it's just... some of the stuff was that was said it's like how do you how do you move on from that and and how do you build from that and i guess the idea is really just to find your purpose my purpose again in, in making these videos um because i've i've actually been pretty fortunate most of my most of my life you know i've i've been a fortunate person this is the one area that i have never thrived at i guess is like relationships because I get, I guess, real strange. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know how to describe it. Everything just kind of came to a tail head earlier today. And I mean, it had already like a month ago, but it really just leveled itself today. And it's something that I've, I've never gone through. Like I've been through a divorce. Um, that one hit me pretty hard. I've been in ups and downs before. I've been on dates and stuff like that. And there was real, you know, there was some connection, but there was not any huge connections. But with this, this person, there was just this connection. Um, but <clears throat> apparently that, that connection died with them. <laughs> um, and I didn't, I didn't feel the same way, but what can you do about this? You just got to move, move on. I, this video is about everything and nothing, I guess, all at once. I don't know how to even talk about it, really. I, I This is not something that I normally talk about. Maybe it, it should be, but I've never been a person that really wanted to have hundreds of 
partners or, or whatever like that. I really like the idea of finding that one person and building a, a life with them. And I, I do like the idea of like, you know, you use your strengths and they use their strengths and you come together. It's kind of like if you have a football team and you got a running back and you try to make the running back, you know, like a, a, a you know, a tackle or so or like a right tackle or something like this is not going to happen. So I, I feel like in that relationship, you learn what, what each person's good at and you bring that to the table. This again, this video is probably not going to have any one, one theme or anything like that. It's just kind of most more of a diary. I don't even know if I should list this video it's more of a diary for myself uh, or of uh, more than anything of, <laughs> Just what I have gone through the last six, seven months. I mean, if you guys have seen me, some of you have uh, uh, DM'd me and Instagram and asked me kind of what's going on. I, I didn't tell anybody anything. And I'm still not going to tell anybody. I'm not going to tell who this person was. I'm not going to anything. I'm not going to, you know, do that. But, yeah, it's it's been a roller coaster uh, for sure. I, I just, I've never met somebody that there was that much of a connection. But then again, this person was very much like me and I'm not the most normal of people. So I guess it was just kind of bound to happen because, you know, if you get two crazies involved, you know, what's going to happen from there. And I've talked about it in some of my other videos where I said, you know, I've dated people who are like type A, which I'm so far from. Actually, you know, the last time I made that video, there was stuff all over the floor. I have actually cleaned it up. I got rid of the bookcase. I've, you know, sold a lot of stuff. I've I've actually been preparing to, to leave this house because I, I thought that's kind of what I was going to be doing. And it still might be. I, I still probably may end up going somewhere. I'm not really running from you know, my emotions, but at the same time, it's just like, might be time to go somewhere, you know, find something new. Maybe I'll go to Japan. Maybe I'll go to Ireland or something. I don't know. If I do, I got, I'll take you guys along. It's, um, it might be time to go. There's been a lot in this house. You know, this is, where I had my cat the last time. I still remember that that day. It's been a lot over the last couple of years. There was a separation from somebody I was with for like 15 years. Then there was I was then she was gone and I was taking care of my cat and then she passed away and it's just been one thing kind of after another. And I'm one of these people that like I I actually never had emotions before, but after my cat passed I finally started having emotions and I don't know how to handle them. I really don't know how to handle them. And I'm, I'm an artist too. Like, you know, I don't know. I haven't shown this really too much, but this one is kind of, kind of coming along. I don't know if it's in focus. I can't see the damn screen, but, um, so I find artists really think a lot internally and, you know, internalize things. And, um, <laughs> rerun things a lot and overthink about things and it's it's not the best mental environment to be in so it really can wreak havoc with your life as well so i'm going through all of that i am going to keep making food videos but i really feel like there's another calling on my life to make other kinds of videos i don't 100 percent know what that's going to look like yet uh, but I kind of wanted to get everybody in the loop a little. Like I said, I'm not naming anybody. I'm not going to talk about anybody. Um, it's just something that I'm dealing with right now. And I actually didn't think I was going to be dealing with it. I didn't really think that this was ever going to happen. I really, We really just... It's, it's irritating. It really is irritating. I don't know if that person will watch this. Probably not. I realize that I'm not always the best at communicating. Uh, sometimes, you know, I, I'm not always the best at, at doing that. So I 
I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I just kind of wanted to get it out there that I really, oh gosh, I'm hitting the microphone. I really have been, been dealing with a lot, a lot lately. And it really has, it seems, come to a head. And that really is not what I wanted to happen, but what can I do? What can I do? I try to make these videos on the day things happen. I probably, I got to edit it, but I probably won't rewatch it after that. I don't even know how I feel about this right now. Maybe I dodged a bullet. I would like to think that. But, yeah. The line that uh, this person said to me, though, really still baffles me. Baffles me. I guess this is what... Um, I guess this is what heartache is or broken heartedness. I've always been so emotionless. And it wasn't on purpose. It wasn't on purpose at all. And I, it, to, to be fair, I feel bad for people who have to deal with that, who are very emotional. Because those of us who, and now that I am, I can kind of, I'm on the other end of that. After my cat passed, part of me died. And... I haven't been the same since. Like, if you watch my videos prior to her passing and after her passing, it is, it's a different me. And I wouldn't know necessarily say for the better or the worse. I really don't know. I am definitely emotional now, which is something that I am not used to dealing with at all. And so that makes things a little more difficult. I don't know how to deal with it at all and people are going to tell me to go to therapy and stuff like that like i i'm not going to open up like it's weird i'm opening up like this i'm very much like uh goodwill hunting but yeah i guess it's a learning <laughs> I think to learn from, I guess. I'd rather not have gone through this for a, something to learn. Uh, but, yeah, I guess, they, what do they say? When God closes the door, he opens a better one or something like that. You know, whatever. But, like, uh, I'm going to leave the comment section on on this. I'm not really looking for a bunch of advice or sorry that you're going through this or anything like that. I think this is more of a video just if you're going through this. Maybe it might just help to watch somebody else who's going through it. I don't know what the title of this video is going to be, but maybe it would help you. I don't know. There was a lot of things that happened in this past six or seven months that were not great. We're not great. Um, and there was a lot that was. There was a lot that was. And I don't know what else to say about it. I feel like I could talk about it for forever. I do. I've And I have actually. I called a, a friend and we talked for like an hour. He's, he's a different animal than me, though. But he overthinks just like I do. So I don't know. Hopefully this thing... I, I'm, I decided to get a camera. Hopefully this thing's actually focusing. I'm used to actually being on the other side of the camera so I could actually see what was going on. I used to run a studio. So I'm used to being able to see if something's in focus or not. I mean, I got this little screen here, but I mean, how much can I see it? Oh. <sighs> I don't know what phase I'm in right now. <laughs> uh, 
but it is not fun at all. It's irritating. I, yeah. I've actually never, I'm 43. I've actually never had a relationship that lasted for six months that didn't last for a lot longer. Ever. Most of my relationships were a couple weeks or something like that that really didn't last or just a couple days or something like that. So I guess maybe that's part of it too. I would rather, if you got along with somebody this well, if there was that much in common, I would rather fix it. And we live in this society of just throwing things away. I hope that thing is not tracking my fingers. It's going to drive me nuts. We live in this society where everything's thrown away. You know, throw this away, throw that away. Nothing else matters. You know, like whatever. The latest and greatest. Uh, if one little thing isn't right and then we throw it away or something like that. I'm not, I'm just not like that. Like I would rather fix something. I would rather fix it. And, you know, when you're in a, a good relationship, I think that's what you do. So I guess this wasn't a good relationship. But it takes both parties. It does take both parties. And if both parties are not willing to do that, then what do you have? I, I, never, I never expected to be in this kind of a, a thing. I really never did. Uh, I guess, I guess it happened. It's kind of like um, I'm one of those people that never worked at a fast food restaurant. And knock on wood, hopefully that is still the case when I die. Uh, Yeah. There's nothing uh nothing to do but just keep going. But wow. I guess I've met my match. Anyways, I I want to just keep talking, um, but I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. I mean, if you're going through this, if you're watching this, who knows, you might see this like a year or two from now if I leave it up. I hope that it works out the way it's supposed to for all of us. <laughs> oh, life is very strange. Life is very strange. I have had a good life. I can't say that I haven't. Most people would drop kick their mother to have my life. And the one thing that has always seemed to be fleeting is the one thing that I have been after. I've always just wanted to have a good relationship with somebody and also be attracted to them. Oh, man, what a day. What a day. But this is the first video I ever took on this camera. Hopefully one of many. Wow. 
I don't know if this video helped me at all, but hopefully it helps whoever watches this. I don't think I'm gonna edit this much. It's ironic too, because this drawing reminds me of this person like you would not believe. It might even be that person. Drawings just come out. I don't know who they are. Yeah. If you made it this far, I, I mean, I don't think there's anybody to share this video. There's no happy ending at the end of this uh, video. This is not a happy ending yet. Who knows what comes from this. But, um, I try to keep this channel as real as humanly possible. And this is about as real as it goes. I think that's it. I got my hair cut the other day and I still was like, whatever. I think this is somebody kind of losing their mind a little bit. At least I got a platform to talk about it on, I guess. I probably shouldn't even release this video, but I feel called to do so. Anyway, um, comments, questions down below if you feel the need. I don't know if I'll answer any of them. I don't even know how I feel about what happened today. Talk to you in the next one.